Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is Monday. And it's not only Monday, but today is Independence Day here in the United States of America. And in fact, Independence Day is considered a prayer book holiday in the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. Uh, it is a tradition dating all the way back to the Revolutionary War, uh, when many of the founders of our country, many of those who wrote uh, the Declaration of Independence, or signed the Declaration of Independence, or the Constitution and Convention delegates, were members of the what was then the Church of England and became the Episcopal Church. It was an understanding that God had blessed this country in a particular way uh, for her independence, and then on top of that, um, this was certainly has given us responsibilities with that independence. And we've always had to ask God for his continued grace and blessings upon us as a nation. Because if we are disobedient, uh, if we do not do his will, then then things will not be good. And, uh, you know, our country has done good at some parts and bad at some parts. Uh, and there's been improvements and there's been setbacks. But... We continue to ask God to bless us as a nation. So I thought what I'd do today is we would take a look at the colic that's assigned for Independence Day. See, we didn't do the colic yesterday for Sunday. We're doing the colic today for Independence Day, uh, which, I, as I said, is in the Book of Common Prayer on page 263. O eternal God, through whose mighty power our fathers won their liberties of old, grant we beseech thee that we and all the people of this land may have the grace to maintain these liberties in righteousness and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we talk about a colic, right, it addresses God, usually God the Father, in this case, eternal God, the Father. Uh, and then it gives an attribute of God, and then our petition, we, what we are asking God in the prayer. So we start out with eternal God. God has always existed. Our country has a start date, uh, and we'll probably have an end date at some point, when the end of time, when, when Jesus returns, not sooner, God, God forbid. But it is, uh, but we know God is eternal. So it's addressed to eternal God, the Father, through whose mighty power our fathers won their liberties of old, right? So we know that God is powerful, and if it is his will for something to happen, then it does in fact happen. And so our prayer, our petition is, grant we beseech thee that we and all the people of this land may have the grace, in other words, depending upon a cooperation with God's mercy, who he is and is if participate in the divine life, right? This is the grace, it's an unmerited gift from God. We the slave may have the grace to maintain these liberties in righteousness and peace. In other words, we have to be striving for peace among all of mankind. All men and women need to learn how to live in peace. Uh, and uh, like I said, we've had good points and we've had really bad points in our country. Uh, but the only thing we can do is to continue to seek righteousness and holiness, right? Strive for the work of life, right? And, and the founders of our country talked about that in the Constitution and in the Declaration of Independence, right? The pursuit of life, liber life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that the rights that we have are endowed by our Creator, right? So well, the rights that we have are God-given. So uh, they're not given to us by the government, right? And the government is at our beck and call as citizens. And we, as Christian citizens, of course, prayerfully influence those decisions uh, through the ballot box and through work with our elected representatives. So we thank God for that opportunity. Because a lot of nations where that is just not true. So uh, I'm still on vacation, but I do wish you a blessed Independence Day. And may God bless our country and make us good Christians and then good citizens as well. May God bless you.